Hey, what's up, guys? So I spent today in uh, downtown Portland, Maine, down in the Old Port District, and it was awesome. They have all these really cool old brick buildings, and everybody's just like really friendly and nice and polite, and the vibes were just really good. It was really cool. I played guitar for probably a half hour, 45 minutes, and uh, I put my case out and I put some money out in it, you know, and I didn't get a single penny. Uh, they had some other people down there playing, like, in full bands and shit for free, so it was kind of like, why would people want to pay me when they can go see a full band for free? But, uh, that's okay, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna figure out how I can do it better next time and try again. So I had this idea, um, yesterday that I've heard it before and it, it must have planted a seed in my head and it just came out at the right time, but I fully, like, I, I get it now. I'm going to try to explain it, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to explain it very well, but I'm, I'm going to do my best. Um, so the idea is that there is no such thing as good and bad or positive and negative emotions. That all emotions are either pleasant or unpleasant. And to understand like how we can use that to uh, grow, you have to understand that our emotions are created by our belief system, so it's, it's our belief about an event or stimulation that creates the emotion about it. It's not, this person did this and now I feel this way. It's not, this happened and now I feel this. It's, this person did this or this thing happened and because I believe this, I feel this way. Uh, that's a distinction that most people don't seem to know and I didn't know for the longest time. They don't teach it to you in school, it's not a... Uh, it doesn't seem like it's common knowledge, and I don't see why. That should be, like, the very basic thing that, like, everybody needs to know. You know what I mean? And I think that's on purpose. I think there's a reason for that. I think it's, uh, social control. I can't prove that, but I have my suspicions. Um, I can't prove it yet. So, basically, our, our emotions are, like, a guiding system of saying that my idea of the way the world should be or the way that people should treat me or the way that I should act. You know, if you feel a pleasant emotion, that means that it's a, your belief system is in sync with what you're currently experiencing. But if what you're currently experiencing is making you feel angry or sad or resentful or uh, betrayed or anything else, that means that whatever's happening, whatever stimulation or event is happening is not in sync with your beliefs. And if that's the case, then you got to really like look at yourself and say, okay, so is this person or event doing something that I don't like? Or is this something where it's just I have this old belief system that I haven't been able to question yet, you know, that was probably like formed like when I was a little kid or something. And do I need to change my belief about the situation or do I need to change the situation? And if you can't change the situation, then you might as well change your belief because there's no point in suffering for no reason just because you're lazy or ignorant, uh, which is basically what it is. Um, we're all ignorant. There's, that's not, I don't mean that to like offend anyone. We're all ignorant. But there's no excuse to be lazy with this stuff. Um, well, actually I guess there is. It's pretty, it's pretty goddamn terrifying to really look at yourself, um, to really see who you are and what you believe and what you do, that's a, that's a terrifying prospect. So I guess, uh, in that case, I wish you all the courage to uh, look at yourself. And I wish myself more courage to keep looking at myself, because it's it, it can get tough sometimes. Anyway, that's, uh, that's where I'm at. I'm going to try to keep this video a little short, um, all of them from now on. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, Portland, Maine is awesome definitely better than Portland, Oregon. So, thanks.